I recently had the chance to use both the new S24 Ultra and the iPhone 15 Pro. If you look at the reviews, the iPhone's camera is generally touted as a better overall camera. But I found out that the S24 Ultra camera to be pretty good actually. So I decided to put this to my own test and figure out if that's really the case. I went out and took a bunch of side-by-side -side photos and videos, compared it myself. Surprisingly, I disagreed with a lot of the reviews out there. The S24 Ultra not only felt like an overall better camera than the iPhone, but it exceeded specifically in five big categories. I will show you side by side comparison and you can decide by yourself too. Quick note, photography can be really subjective and these are my subjective opinion. So let's get started. First big advantage for the S24 Ultra over the iPhone 15 Pro image contrast. I think S24 Ultra has a better contrast overall in all their photos. iPhone's camera can use a little bit more contrast for sure. Look at this photo. S24 Ultra photos are on the left. It was a midday sun, the sky looks bluer, the trees on the left looks greener, the road has more contrast, but 15 Pro photo on the right side looks more washed out for sure. Look at the road, the sky and the building sidings on this photo too. Same case. S24 Ultra brings more realistic contrast to the photos. Another example here, there was a spotlight. The S24 Ultra's contrast brings out that mood precisely. iPhone's lack of contrast makes it look like a flat photo and looks washed out. It made the lighting more even when it wasn't in reality. This is not to say that the Samsung applies more contrast to every photos by default. Look at this one for example. The iPhone's photo on the right in fact has more contrast bluer skies and darker roads. But in my opinion, Samsung gave the right amount of contrast. The trees are not overexposed, the grass is a more natural color, and the S24 Ultra's photo is definitely more pleasing image for sure. Next category where the S24 Ultra shines is the exposure. I think this is more of a flaw with the iPhone where it tends to simply overexpose the images. Here's an example iPhone simply overexposes image a lot, which made the image look more washed out and flat. Look at the roof here. It's supposed to be black as in the S24 Ultra's photo. S24 Ultra gave the right exposure and the image has a lot more pop to it. We saw this image already where iPhone evened out the light making it look flat. Another example here, look at the roof. This was a high dynamic range shot and iPhone's image is more even and doesn't really bring out that difference in lighting between the bright sky and the dark roof. S24 Ultra is getting both the contrast and exposure better in most photos. But a more important category where S24 Ultra really exceeded my expectation was in the photo details. Let's start with this one. Uh, you can already see the better contrast in S24 Ultra's photo. But let me zoom in to the center. Look at the details on the zipper in the bag, the color in the print, the fabric, all have much more details than the iPhone's photo. What blew me even more is the iPhone takes 24 megapixel photos by default and the Samsung takes only 12. You can see the smaller resolution here, still it managed to bring out more details. This is shooting directly into the sun. Look at the shadows, it has much more details in the bricks and stairs than the iPhone. Okay, this is a good example. Look how much more cleaner and detailed the text is on the left iPhone's photo has way more noise and didn't do a good job of capturing more details. It in fact captured the photos at a higher shutter speed. One more photo to show the telephoto camera lens quality on the S24 Ultra. At this point, the iPhone's photo is a blur. There is no detail or texture on my face or dress. Similar photo, similar condition and similar results. And when you do need that extra detail, there is a 200 megapixel mode on the S24 Ultra compared to the 48 megapixel on the iPhone 15 Pro. The zoom here is insane, but will come in handy when you want to crop your photos later. Speaking of zoom, the next big advantage which came in very handy with the S24 Ultra was the optical zoom range. It has four lenses, 0.5x, 1x, 3x and a 5x. Even if you get the iPhone 15 Pro Max where you get a 5x lens, the 5x on the S24 Ultra is a 50 megapixel sensor compared to a 12 megapixel on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And this translates to better optical reach in photos. I have an iPhone 15 Pro which has a 3x lens at max. So the S24 Ultra was even more useful in my case. And even if I do a digital zoom to match the S24 Ultra, it shows clearly the lack of optical zoom in photo details. 
There is a 100x mode on the S24 Ultra, but that's really not usable. Okay, one last category which Samsung really outdid Apple was in colors. You expect iPhone to capture better and accurate colors, right? My experience was different. Look at this photo. The environment was warm and yellow, but iPhone made the image like it applied a filter on top. My dress was white. It looks like yellow in the iPhone's photo. So does my face. Samsung was able to manage the colors better here and bring a more natural tone to my face, dress and surroundings. Another extreme lighting test. There was this harsh red light and Samsung was able to bring a little bit more natural color to my face. At least it was able to show the difference in color between my face and the brick behind. iPhone on the other hand showed no difference in the color between my face and the brick which actually was. We already saw this photo before but another example of how S24 Ultra was able to bring out more natural colors than the iPhone. iPhone photo was simply more blue than in real. Okay. Contrast, exposure, details, zoom range, colors, all were handled much better in Samsung S24 Ultra in my case than the iPhone 15 Pro. These are really big categories in my opinion and it's really impressive that Samsung was able to outdo the iPhone significantly. Does that mean the S24 Ultra is simply a better camera than iPhone? There were a couple of things where the iPhone did perform better. Let me show you. First, handling dynamic range. The S24 Ultra was pretty harsh when it came to high dynamic range environments. This was an extreme situation where I was shooting objects against the bright window. Even though the iPhone's image was noisier, it at least brought out that detail and understood what to expose for. Samsung on the other hand underexposed the image which made it lose a lot of details. Another similar situation, the foreground in the S24 Ultra is almost fully dark. Nothing is visible. Although it did expose for highlights properly, iPhone gave a much better dynamic range photo with a decent information in the foreground. You see, this dynamic range issue is not just in photos. It's pretty pronounced in videos too. Look at this video taken on the S24 Ultra where I moved between dark interiors and bright exterior. You can see that there is sudden drop in exposure to compensate for the exterior. It's pretty jarring. If you take a look at the same scene taken with iPhone, the shift in exposure is very gradual that you cannot even notice it. The color problem is still there with the iPhone footage though. It's blue and did not get the colors right. The S24 Ultra, although jarring, but had more accurate colors on the inside and outside. Another example here where I move between dark and bright areas, and S24 Ultra is not afraid to crank up the exposure suddenly. iPhone is much more gradual for sure. Another big advantage of the iPhone is its consistency. iPhone photos are much more consistent irrespective of multiple factors. Low light environment, which camera lens are you using, photo or video, interior or exterior, macro or not, it's pretty consistent. You know what you will get. S24 Ultra on the other hand, not so much. It messed up the colors in this photo, it got the exposure incorrect in this photo and sometimes low light videos break down pretty quickly and so on. Sometimes retaking the same photo helps but you cannot expect around 90% consistency. So what's my final take here? My take is the S24 Ultra's camera deserves a lot more recognition and praise than what we are seeing today. It got a lot of things right against the iPhone 15 Pro where the iPhone 15 Pro was already an amazing camera. I would even go as far as to say that the S24 Ultra's camera system is a better overall system than the iPhone 15 Pro's but with some rough edges here and there. Are those rough edges a deal breaker? It's up to you to decide. Another thing to keep in mind is that the S24 Ultra screen is much more nicer than the iPhone 15 Pro screen. It's super sharp, vibrant and punch and that is where you will view almost 99% of your photos on. So there is another big advantage for the Samsung S24. Okay, I hope this was useful. Like and share if you liked it. I'll see you in the next one. This is Anjana. Bye-bye.